Hi guys! This is my new Life Crafted album from Citrus Twist and I decided it would be perfect to create a little mini album for my new nephew um, who, well, he's not born yet so at this point he's affectionately known as Bean but I wanted to start a little mini album for him. He's only a few days away so um, this will be the only page in here where he's referred to as Bean but um, I figured it was a nice place to start. So there was this 3x8 card in the Life Crafted kit from Citrus Twist and it's perfect for starting these albums. I am just going to alter one of the pockets in the album so that it fits the 3x8 perfectly. Now I'm going to do my use my fuse tool to do that um, and the little fuse ruler wasn't long enough to um, just take one line of fusing so you could shift the ruler but I prefer to do it all in one roll so I'm using a longer metal ruler that I have it's not perfect for fusing because it's a little bit tall um, a little bit thick but I've done both sides to make sure that that uh, fuse is nice and secure because I am actually going to trim off the excess here so I've put the card in to make sure it's nice and tight where I'm fusing and in the right place and then I can go ahead and trim that and now I have my own little custom page protector to start my album and I'm going to create another custom page protector as well because um, at the bottom of this photo of my beautiful sister beautiful and very pregnant sister um, I'm gonna put some sequins because I mean if we can't celebrate now when can we celebrate so um, I am adding just a bunch of sequins this is a beautiful mix um, that I got as a gift from a friend as part of a Christmas advent um, and the colors couldn't have gone more perfectly with the kit or this page so I've just added a bunch in there and I'm using my little fuse ruler they are a little bit stuck onto the page protectors I have no idea how to take this static electricity out of sequins yet I haven't found that magic tool yet um, and I'm going to use my photo as a guide for where to to do the fusing here so I want to make sure that my photo is a little bit down from the top I want to give it a little bit of space at the top there and then I'm going to just use my ruler to fuse along the bottom here it takes me a little bit of time to set this up so that I can make sure that I'm getting a straight fuse and I guess the thing is is once you've fused a pocket like this there's no going back so take as much time as you need to um, make sure that it is straight from the start uh, you can see here I folded over my paper so that I would have a straight edge to work with I'm just lining up my photo and my pocket uh, and just lining that up to make sure that I get the bottom here nice and straight um, I do realize I'm using the wrong ruler but um, this one this fuse isn't quite as important because it's not I'm not trimming anything off so I'm just going to roll the fuse tool across there once and that gives me my little pocket for the sequins at the bottom and then I can slip in my photo to the top now these page protectors for the Life Crafted album are approximately sort of four and a quarter inches wide and because my printed photo is only four inches wide I've got this little gap at the side. Now if you're using um, bulkier embellishments that's going to be great because it gives you a little bit of leeway for fitting those thicker embellishments in there but my page today is going to be quite flat and I don't want that photo wiggling around in there so I'm just going to I just pushed the photo over and I'm doing the same thing that I did with the 3x8 page protector which is to just run double line of fusing so I'm fusing both sides to make sure that it's all nicely stuck together and then I'm going to trim that tiny little edge off with my paper trimmer. It doesn't make a huge difference and you certainly don't need to but I guess at this point I'm trying to make my album as perfect as possible for the perfect little love that's going to come into my life. So this is my pages so far and I am going to work on the back page as well because I do have a little um, ultrasound photo of Bean at this point. So I figured since the next page is probably going to be an actual photo of him it might be nice to see the before. 
I am going to use the papers from the Life Crafted kit as well and I ummed and art about using this peachy polka dot paper. It goes beautifully with the sequins and um, Beans is a boy but I have no issues with using peach um, or pink or anything like that. But I just wasn't sure that it went with that teal on the 3x8 card. And because there is the exact same floral pattern in the 6x8 papers, um, I really wanted to use that. So I went through all of the papers, none of them were as perfect as that, so I decided to trim that down to a 4x6 card and I'm going to use that same pattern. So even though everything's on different pages, these first two, um, well it's sort of four sides, these first four pages pages all, um, all will tie in nicely together. The stamp set that comes in the Life Crafted kit is perfect, couldn't be more perfect. The um, kit's titles is Fresh Starts um, and this is exactly what we're having. So I intend to use quite a few of these stamps I will say um, and I'm just placing them on my photo. Um, if you're gentle enough I, you can place your uninked stamps just to see where things are going to go. So. I'm also going to have a quick look through all of these die cuts and there are many so I have sped this up because I know from looking on the back there that there are going to be a few in here that are just going to be perfect for this page as well. So I'm just washing through them. I'm looking for things that have the right sentiment but I also want something that's going to match this colour scheme that I've got which is quite simple. It's just the teal and black and white so I didn't want anything um, too extra coloured in there. I did add one label that had as sort of a beigey grey sort of uh, border but that's fine it still suits my color scheme. I am stamping one stamp onto my actual photo of beans and I'm using my Brilliance Moonlight White Ink to do that. Uh, it's my favorite white ink for stamping on photos and the rest I'm just going to add these little die cuts so it's easy enough to play around with where they're going to go on the layout before I commit to sticking things down. I will say um, this is the smallest layout I've ever done. I've never done a little layout on a 4x6 card before and it did take me a tiny bit to get used to it. It was a little bit harder to balance things and work out where things would go. These die cuts are all perfect because they're tiny and they fit on here really nicely but I end up making sort of a diagonal I guess with my clusters of stamps and die cuts from the top left down to the bottom right. Um, and this last stamp here I decided to stamp onto some scrap paper and trim that out as another little die cut rather than stamping it onto the pattern paper. I um, was hoping for it to have a white background so it stood out a little bit more rather than just having the teal it might have got a little bit lost I think. So I did stamp it a couple of times because um, I like to have a spare just because I'm not that great with the trimming and the gluing here. And you can see when I stuck it down, it didn't have much presence on the page. It was still a little bit lost, even with the white background. So I grabbed out this beautiful, um, super black diagonal paper and just have matted my tiny little stamped piece onto there. And you can see that black border just gives it a little bit more emphasis and helps balance out the page. Now I've left a little gap because I'm going to put um, a title in I guess. I just want to put down Baby Bean because as I said this will be really the last page where he's known as Baby Bean. So it's the first page but the last page if you know what I mean. So I wanted to put down um, the name that we've been calling him throughout my sister's pregnancy and these little black alphas, little puppy stickers were perfect to do that. I didn't measure anything first which might have been a mistake but as you'll see it fits perfectly it was like it was meant to be um, I will say <laughs> I think one of my biggest pet, hate, pet hates in crafting are the little bits in between puffy sticker letters I just they're so impossible to get out so there you go it couldn't have fit perfect any more perfectly than it did I just used the acetate off the back of the stamp set to just um, lay the letters out to make sure first rather than stick them down and then realize that they weren't going to fit. So that's a little tip for doing that and then I'm going to slip that in behind my photo and I'm almost calling it done. I'm putting these pages into my album but I just want to add something onto my 3x8 page just so you can kind of see that it's not 
one page. At the moment it sort of looks a bit funny. So I've got these little tab stickers. Um, I think they're from Avery Owl. They're just a sticker, they're not those plastic ones where you slip the paper onto the inside. It's just a cardboard tab that has a little sticky back on it. So I'm sticking that down. It won't end up staying there. I thought it looked nice. Um, being next to the white box on the card but I do need to lift it off and just peel it back so that um, the sticker on the back of that tab doesn't cover up the title on the other page and then I just want to do a little bit of stamping and I'm going to stamp on both sides of this tab on the first side I am stamping new beginnings and on the second side I'm going to stamp the same stamp that I stamped on um, the photo of Bean so I'm not worried that I'm using the same stamp twice because they're on different pages so you're never going to see them together um, and it says the best is yet to come because it sure is we all can't wait so this is the first few pages in my album um, and I just am so pleased this album is beautiful and it's going to be perfect to make this little um, little mini book for beans I can't wait to put in this next photo which will actually be when we get to meet him it's only a few days away so um, I am bursting with excitement to carry on filling up this album if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen, otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys!